he he, he no. rocked that role probably. He I haven't seen it. I didn't watch. I didn't watch Detective Pikachu, dude. It's, that is such a fucking good movie, dude. <laughs> I did see John Wick last night though. What? Mm. Lovely. How was that? Wick. It's it's like a self-aware super fight movie, and like oh, I say self-aware, it's actually it's it sneaks in comedic bits amidst the fighting, That's and aesthetic. it works, and awesome. it's great. Uh, there's like a sequence where like okay, because John Wick kills everyone. Let's be honest here, he's John fucking Wick. Yeah, this is a bit. and like he has like a sequence where he's beating the shit out of a guy on the ground, and then another guy is coming up, and he does like a cool sequence where he aims his gun between his legs, and then the guy aims back, and the other guy on the ground pulls out his gun, and they're all out of ammo. <laughs> they all stare at each other, blink a couple of times, look at each other's guns, and then they all let like, go of each other and just fucking not shit. Up. Fucking get, where's the clip? It's so of course, John Wick wins and kills them all. Yeah. 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 He's John good. fucking Wick. <laughs> He's fucking Baba Yaga and Keanu Reeves. But he, is a I was about to say it's like it's better yet. He's, he's also Keanu immortal. Reeves. Keanu Reeves is immortal. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's, he's a vampire or eldritch being. Take your pick, whatever. Yeah, he's another eldritch being. I'm an eldritch being. Uh, Fred is an eldritch being. They have each other on spe- um, um, uh, speed dial. Yeah. I am the elusive Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I'm a corrected compared to. <laughs> I I'm the protagonist that's in way over their head, <laughs> and not even a protagonist. <laughs> Mm. All right, so um, uh, there it is. There it is. Here's the picture in main chat, in the general chat. So uh, if you're curious about Keanu Reeves' immortality, oh yeah, I think I've seen this. Yeah. So honestly, he can really pull off the beard. Yeah. Works well, he well, of course he is. He's from the like 13th century, like so. Of course he can pull. <laughs> Everyone had when the back beard then. was invented. <laughs> yeah. I don't think the beard was invented in the 13th century. <laughs> I don't know, he just started the trend. You have a hard time telling that to literally anyone in Europe. <laughs> From the dawn of time. They were posers, okay. amateurs. Yeah. Amateur. But yeah, uh, John Wick 3, highly recommend it if you like the first two John Wicks. It's even... I'm, just, I'm legitimately astounded how many creative and interesting and amusing ways they gave John Wick to kill people with. Is it the you same director from the other ones? I believe so. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, um, I will say John Wood does kill people with a horse, and not in the sense that, what? you know, the horse crushes someone, but more like he, he taps the horse's butt and it kicks someone at his command because his animal handling skill is like 50 billion. So he, of so in that logic, he uses the horse as a gun and kills people with it. <laughs> I love he's it. He's in Lebanon? Yeah. Huh. Huh. I know that. Yeah, he's a very, Look, uh, John Wick having a high animal handling makes sense. He does most of his killing because they killed his dog. <laughs> yeah, that's a fair point. That's yeah. a fair point. I mean, there was a lot of build up to like why that dog was important, but at the same time, they killed his fucking dog. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. There's a really meme guy in John Wick Three. I I think he's. You, have you guys ever seen Iron Chef? Like the like you know OG Iron yeah. Chef. Yeah, I've actually like, been watching. Japanese dude three posting three it. Like, I, I, me and my friends didn't confirm it at the time because it was one fucking am we wanted to go home and it was freezing cold. But we think the Iron Chef host, like the weird, bald, Asian, Japanese guy, we think he, he's in the movie <laughs> as a weird, bald, <laughs> Japanese what, ninja. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, wow. I gotta watch that. And he's just like, it looks like him. But yeah, he's just very weird and it's hilarious. Um, hmm. If you guys ever saw The Raid... Raid Redemption, the Indonesian fight movie. It's a pretty niche, so if you haven't seen it, it's understandable. But um, it's a really good fight movie, and Keanu Reeves actually wanted the fight people from that movie to be in this movie. And they totally fucking are. So it's like crossover, I guess. Not like Infinity Wars, but you know, kill kill some up. And uh, you have to see dogs kill people, some German shepherds kill people, mostly by ripping their arms off or biting their nuts. (laughs) <laughs> Mostly biting their nuts. <laughs> mm-hmm. Made me cringe a lot during the movie because of how often they did it. <laughs> yeah, it's a good movie. Highly recommend it. Yeah, okay. Well, I find you have not seen the first one yet, so... <laughs> you don't need to see the first one, honestly. Oh. No, like, oh, just, you really don't. You don't. Just know that John Wick kills people, he kill people of anything, and they killed his dog in the first movie. And yeah, that- just... He's so good yeah. at killing that everyone is scared of him. That is all you need to know. Yeah, just know he's the best assassin. Everyone's afraid of him. That, yep. And also that the premise of the John Wick universe is that anyone can be an assassin. Mm-hmm. Like anyone. Like mm-hmm. in disguise. And that's oh, it. Okay. But 
the third movie does a really good job of like in uh, introducing that to you like very quickly. Even the second movie gives you like a little recap just so you know. Yeah, they, they 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 smooth you into the universe. Like I, I I went with a friend that hadn't seen the first two, and then I was like just going through the process of him, like if he had any questions after the movie, and then he's like, so this was this, right? And I was like, yeah, and then this was this, like basically, yeah. So the movie does a good job. Like if you haven't seen the previous ones, it still does a really good job of just like getting you caught up in terms of like this is what the universe is like. They are very aware of the movies that they are making, and they yeah, know no, it's how... a it's a very it's a hundred percent self aware movie. Yeah, oh, so okay. Okay. they know how to not fuck up with this. They, they know that they're making a hyper killing movie, and it's amusing. Mm -hmm. they, like I think most a lot of the actors on the set say like, yeah, this is just really fun. <laughs> like it's just really fun to like just do all this. It's really fun. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe give it a shot then. Later. I'd say, I'd say watch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe. Watch it and just don't care too much about the story, although it does exist, and just anticipate at least like a 500 kill count <laughs> throughout the movie. Oh my god. Right, cool. Cool. I feel we'll bad for that. that channel that specifically goes over kill counts in movies because that'd be fucking. <laughs> oh, they mostly stick to horror. First John Wick. I think I saw it for the first John Wick, actually. Really? Yeah, I think. And, yeah, and I think he had like a hundred something, and it's it's really good. Well, good for them. Tango. Child. Tango. Oh, he's, he's relocating. <laughs> Please don't wake up. Please stay under that towel blanket and chill. Mm. No. Please. <laughs> Alright, I'm not hearing any meowing. If you guys hear meowing and I'm not responding to it, because my headsets are super great at like... Or, and also mm -hmm. I'm just naturally acclimated to tuning out any sound that's not coming from the headset because shit's loud as fuck right. around here. Mm -hmm. Let me know. We'll just start screaming at you. Okay. Well, so will he around, so. <laughs> Scrim! <laughs> the child scrim. <laughs> Eight an hour ago, you used the bathroom like basically the same time. <laughs> not during, that's simultaneous. I mean, it's a cat. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Yeah. It's called I multitasking. Used the bathroom a bit before, and then I fed him afterwards, and then I went out to go buy shit and refill my car. Mm -hmm. I know you could buy shit. Yeah, I was yeah. aware that. It's called fertilizer, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Touche. He's he got I am the fool. <laughs> Anyways. It's that's the reverse math of this campaign so far. Reverse math. God bless it. You mean yeah. subtraction? <laughs> I still prefer reverse math. Mm. That's more edgy. But it doesn't make any sense, because reverse math, would that be English studies? No, it's, <laughs> sort of, it's math in reverse, which can be technically any math in reverse. So if I oh, want you to do, do an antiderivative, then oh, fuck. You wouldn't be derivative can eat my anti-ass. That's how you Are make you it. Are you I think uh, NASA and Elon Musk would like to get in contact if you know your location. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is there something break down the door and then I disconnect from Discord? Well, no, I want to hear FBI open up. Well, like, <laughs> yeah, and then, then it'd be funny. Yeah, at the very least, you know? Yeah, we gotta get, we gotta get some government agency with violence involved, come on. Yeah. I mean, if it's Elon Musk, I feel like they would have their own security task force. Unless I, they just own the I'm CIA. I'm telling you, like, you know, you guys see that cyberpunk game? I'm telling you, mm -hmm. I want te I want Tesla to just be in the game. And it's like, so I mean... cars, you have to get that. Yeah. Paramilitary, uh, you know, task force. We got that. Elon Musk, his brain is kept in a jar, producing anime memes somewhere. <laughs> we got that. <laughs> I can imagine I, that happening too. It would be ready really your death save. <laughs> Do you know what oh. Elon Musk's task force is called? What? The Musketeers. <laughs> Damn it! I lived. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All right, this is the trend. Everyone roll some D uh. Everyone roll the death saves. Death saves. I'm dead. All right, Fred, nice I don't know if I met you in real life, if I would slap you or hug you. <laughs> um, how tall are you? Uh, like six, six, six? five-ish, six, six. Yeah. How tall are you? Six, two. Six, 
Okay, so you okay, so you'd be able to reach. Oh, I'm. <laughs> Are you a child? I'm five nine. You're tiny. <laughs> I could suplex <laughs> you. Oh, fucking tall ass. <laughs> ass. Fucking freak out of here. Me and him, you and me, we're the same height, Bradley. I can nice. Pass. That just means you're both short. <laughs> no, that just means you're tall as fuck. The national <laughs> average is 5'9, you asshole. <laughs> really? Is mm -hmm. it? That's yeah. tiny. It's 5'9. Or five like nine and like point eight or some shit like that. I, don't yeah. I say this as a so joke all the time, but like I feel like I was hired at work because I'm tall and everyone else is shorter than me at work. But it's not even really that much of a joke because everyone's so fucking short. What do they have problem reaching this high shelves? Or Literally, something? yes. <laughs> like they'll just be, they'll just look over and say Daniel, and I'll be like, fine. I walk over, grab the white mocha off the top thing. <laughs> fucking. See, it's they funny after a certain. Deadline. Yeah. After a certain only... height, mm. there's only other people. There's no. How, well, they're tall. Were they short? They're just not. They're not just relevant. Until you meet so Gary, you who's like a foot like taller Shaq. than me. If you meet, if I meet someone, if they, if I meet someone who's taller, it's kind of like a surreal, freakish experience. <laughs> yeah. Because like, right, so it like, so like, almost never tall. happens. Mm. My dude, how I. How tall is really tall, Rebecca? How tall is really tall? That's, that's super weird. He's like six people. five. Six five. That's that's a big one. Pretty much all my friends are over six feet, and then I'm like five five at <laughs> at most. And so I'm kind of like above height for a female, but then like around these people, I feel like a little tiny midget. And they all I mean, talk you're about a me, foot like, shorter literally. than them. Yeah. I'm a little little baby. <laughs> oh yeah. no! Wait, how, wait, hold on. I have a meme for this. Hold on. Oh my god. You know the tiny uh, dog no, meme Russian surrounded now. by the huge mm. dog? That's how I yeah, feel. Uh... <laughs> Hello, um, little child, how are you? This, this, no, when, I, they, when I meet people that are actually... Is that how they talk to you? By any chance? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> when I meet people that are tall to me, it genuinely scares me. <laughs> right. It's like when Let tall me people meet other you. tall people. They have to stand up super straight and like prove their like tall. Size each other up. Like yeah. I'm slightly taller than you, fucker. Mm -hmm. Every time someone tall talks to me, I have to like, I'm like, ah, I'm short, so I try to deepen my voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God damn it! I was I drinking coffee. So <laughs> I live in SoCal, so I'm taller than most people around here. Hell um, yeah! Because yeah. Agent runs agent. My boss is way shorter than me. He's like five six. Jeez. A lot of Mexican yeah. people are really Give short. me a second. I think I got a package that just showed up. Uh, one of my closest friends is like a centimeter or two taller than I am. Does it make fun of you? No, because we it, it, if you if we stand shoulder to shoulder, we look almost the same height. Ah, uh, close enough then. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, it's less than like an inch difference, so. But it's kind of funny because if we're um, with groups in sort of a crowded area, put on like an orange hat and then a red hat, and then just. Look, Why okay, where are the hats? <laughs> there. They're beacons. Yeah. So, so you're telling me if we met in real life, you're the walking, like, lighthouse for us to flock to? Yeah, pretty much. Mm. Okay, easy. Cool. Alright, everyone make plans, mark in your calendars. <laughs> We're meeting in California, consider how the three of us are. <laughs> Majority vote! <laughs> Just kidding, we probably meet someone in the middle. Mm. Nope, they're no, coming over. If we ever met in real life, hypothetically, I'm just saying. Yeah. Wait, yeah. okay, we know- wait, Kirstie, how tall are you? Oh, um, I'm 5'8". Okay, okay. You're not above six feet, that's- that's the kicker. I- we already <laughs> have two assholes over here, come yeah. fucking measuring up, literally, over there. <laughs> yeah. I don't need- I don't need to do any more of that shit. <laughs> no, but mind you, growing up pretty much, all my family members are, like, super tall. So pretty much, like, if you're under six foot, you're considered a dwarf. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've just grown up being I like, would not, not survive life. in your land. Yeah. <laughs> Probably, one reason because I'm short. Secondly, because it's, it's, like, way colder than SoCal. Which is not saying much, because everything's colder than SoCal. Because of SoCal. <laughs> yeah. But I used to work with a woman, and she was honest to God, right? She was up to my elbow. And but she it, was, like... She was, so she was certified dwarf. <laughs> Yeah, sort of, yeah. She was like, she, um, it was in a shop, it was in a pub I actually worked in. Whenever she tried to like pour pints and stuff, it was just. Oh my god, they're like as tall as she is. It was taller. She used to have to like <laughs> pour up her kitchen to get it, and it was just the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> beautiful. I think you and I have very different definitions of beautiful. <laughs> it was just so funny. And then she used to like, 
pull the tail forward so she could like touch the screen and stuff. Oh, I wasn't <laughs> fucking stupid. There we go. <laughs> Did you oh, just... a bullet or something? No, I like. Guy? Huh? Did you just kill a guy? No. Uh, I'm <laughs> dumb and I don't look at dates. And it's like, oh, I have a package. And I realized that it was from a month ago. <laughs> what? You. A packet, you. Like, I still have the tab open on my phone from where I was tracking a package I bought oh, a while back. Oh, a month ago. Uh, yeah. You doofus. Like, it, and so I used, like, I looked at the wrong pa uh, tracking code. And so what I saw was, like, delivered. And I was like, that's fucking nice. weird. So I look at it, I'm like, wait a minute, that is from. This is an ice month. <laughs> Uh, at least you caught yourself? Yeah. Question mark, I'm just guess? dumb. Don't don't worry about it. <laughs> We're all dumb. That's a catch. <laughs> we accept Speak it now. Mm. Okay, okay. We got Miss Prideful over there. Not so dumb. I like to think I have an IQ in the single digits, personally. So, you know, you Wouldn't could... Wouldn't that be considered not, brain you know, dead? Like high horse all you want. Yeah. I'm, I'm not stupid. I'm just dumb. <laughs> It's slightly above stupid. Yeah. Like, I can do I mean, math, I but like... I... Not hard math. Yeah, but I've like <laughs> lost... I've been looking for like my phone, and then turned on the flashlight on my phone to look for my phone. <laughs> I think everyone... I think if you're tired or sleepy enough, yeah, it'll see yeah. easy. Oh man, actually I got like... One time I woke up from a nap and my alarm was going off, and I was so tired that I, um, I lifted up this clear box and I thought that was my alarm. And I was like, I was like holding it up against my ear, being like, the sign's not coming out of this. How do I turn it off? And it was this clear box. Did that you had, smash like, it? In it? No, I just kind of looked at it really dazed for a little bit. Wait, 10 what's minutes. going on? What is this? Like, what, is, yeah, what the hell yeah. is this? And I eventually sort of clicked that, oh, wait a minute, it's my phone. It... It's just, ugh. ugh. I personally yeah. like the idea of magic witchcraft making random objects. <laughs> I oh well, yeah yeah maybe but <laughs> I can relate to the glasses thing. The glasses thing. Yeah. Oh wait, wait. glasses with your face. Mm. I don't wear yeah. glasses, so I wouldn't know. No, the worst is oh look at this over mensch over here with no no vision problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yikes. No, I, I've caught myself <laughs> looking for my glasses. <laughs> <'Cause I'm starting. laughs> while I was wearing my glasses. Yeah. No, the worst is like when you lose them. And I can't see well enough to find them with my glasses, so I've got to find somebody else. Are you like Velma from Scooby Doo? Uh, yeah, essentially. <laughs> Alright. Not judging. As long as you can summon Shaggy, then we're good. Because we all know well, Shaggy know is an uber powerful outreach being. What's your Raggy? <laughs> hey, hold on. <laughs> we can't my brother, Don't Raggy. do that. That's. that's that, that freaks me out. I think it's surprising, brother, Raggy. <laughs> Um, oh, here we go. This is what I need. Yeah, so in case you ever want to have them in your game. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Note that each, each power, each ability is a, has like a percentage. Because 1 he can't power, use 100% of his power. Yeah, he can't use 100% of his power because then he'll kill you. So he has to limit himself to only 1% of his power. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am stealing this for later. <laughs> Bobby reactions. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 his archetype, he's a medium sized groovy god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just thought you guys should. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that. Funkalicious. Yeah. Uh, he does, he is vulnerable to being frightened, though, because he's shaggy, so that's fair. Checks out, okay. So there's some weird levels of accuracy in here. Yeah. Uh, I think they actually showed, like, the guy who played Shaggy in the, you know, the live action movies. We don't talk about those. <laughs> well, he actually, like, as acknowledged the meme and everything. Oh, Mimi. Worth it. Yeah. yeah. If you guys ever want uh, to lose, um, fight it's against Shaggy. Shaggy do. Because here's the thing I could just multiply any of his stuff times 100, for, and then that would be like 100% of his power, right? So, there you go. So, like, uh, one fist attack would be like. You know, Don't fist me, Shaggy, please. Yeah, this, oh my that'd, God. Be like, that'd be like 400 D800s plus 1,000, because I'm tied to about 100, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah, so, yeah. That's smite me, oh mighty power. smiter. Right, bro. Oh, <laughs> that's casual, bro. like, bro. Zoinks, Scoob. 
Give me my motherfucking Scooby Snacks. <laughs> um, you got. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. Child. His head's peeking out from the towel. No. Oh. And he's just staring at me. Probably because I'm talking about Shaggy and he is a god fearing kitten. <laughs> Shaggy deserves your fear. Okay. Yeah, I'll take a picture. Child. You okay? Can you just make a live stream of your cat? Uh. I have a camera. But. It's not what he asked. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know how it would work. I don't think it goes that far. Is it? Fucking that's that would be the most viewed thing on Twitch for like a hot minute. <laughs> oh shit! What's up in here? Oh no, there you go. Alright, there you go. <laughs> oh, he's so oh. tiny. He's a wee Bobby. <laughs> you good? I love oh, how you yawn. said that. That's a yawn. You John? John? Going back down. Chilling. Mm. Chilling. Wait, no, the heat pad. I I jerk rigged it, so you can't be cold. Yeah, no, that shit's warm. You good? Yeah, he good. He's going back down into the depths of the darkness, like the cat he is. He is too comfortable. Uh, Grimthal King would be proud. Hello, Finn. Yeah, he's going back to sleep. <laughs> I put uh, a, the blanket there on top of a corner, so because like there's a lot of lights going on, so I'm like, if you want a little area of utter darkness, you know. And he's going to it right now. And... <laughs> All right, mission accomplished. You didn't wake up and start meowing. Like, Fuck yeah. <laughs> okay, hi. <laughs> so man, he must think I'm a psychopath because I'm just talking to the air right now without him responding. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, because I am a psychopath. That's what my parents think too. I I had that problem when I first started playing D and D. Like, my parents would like hear me, and they're like, "What? Like, they'll open the door. Like, what the hell is? Are you talking?" And then they'll see like a uh, headset on me, and they'll, and they'll be like, "Oh, I don't have a headset anymore. I have a full dedicated mic." But the logic's mm -hmm. still the same. Right. Mm -hmm. Go back to sleep. No, it's like I was trying to I was trying to explain D and D to my mom earlier today, and just the look of just utter confusion and slight it's disappointment. Slight just, disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I'm just gonna shop now. Uh, no, <laughs> the best way to put it is you're just say like you're going through hypotheticals. Because people do that, like, oh, if a zombie apocalypse happened, I would do this. Just say it's like that, except yeah, it's, control yeah. it's controlled by one guy that makes everything fair. Uh huh. Fair. So, I think that'd be, that's a yeah, fa yeah, fair in my favor, of course. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a movie? Is this a show? I don't Finn, know you were just purring. Purr more. I made the mistake of like patting my cat, joking. and now he's just like grabbing at my hand, wanting more pets. Hmm. Hello. Yeah, my does it. Now you're peeking out from the darkness. And... <laughs> the darkness is real. Are you going to sleep? Or... No, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna look. I'm gonna look away from you. Your eyes Nickname are... your cat Batman. Batman. No, Batman. No, Shut up. Doing Tango. Tango. <laughs> Are you gonna get another cat named Charlie? No, if I got another cat, I'd call him Whiskey, and then I got another cat called Foxtrot. Damn and it! Then it'd be Whiskey, then be Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. WTF? Fucking easy. <sighs> did you just come up with that, or did you actually plan that out? <laughs> um, I've always had plans for two different names for cats, but uh, they were gonna be called Warden and Strider. Oh. And then I, cool. I would give Warden to the guy to the cat that chills and like just watches it shit. Because he doesn't give you a warrant, and the one that's more active, I call Strider. But then I got this fucker. I and named so my cute. cat oh, after. Uh, <laughs> I named mine after cartoon characters. That's fair. I don't think there's anything like wrong when you name a cat, or there's something like yeah. really freaking long and extra. It was really obvious because I I had two black cats. One was a uh, Felix, you know the cat, the old like cartoon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it's a breed. Well, then I was just like, ah, what the fuck do I name this one? And I was like, Shadow. What's like an no, I was like, what's like an old cartoon that I used to watch that- Oh yeah, fucking Oswald, like, the octopus. Yeah, that's what's a that? good- I don't know that one, mate. That's- that's a pull. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know why, but I like that name, and I called him Ozzy. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. 
That reminds me of Ozzy and Drex. You remember that? Oh my god, like, that movie the show. show where they played like cells in the body. That shit was weird. I'd probably just call it cat. <laughs> you told us you just called it a Swedish word for cat. To be fair though, my my mom and my aunt call the cat uh, in Chinese egg roll. Mm, Hello, pretty kitty. <laughs> and I was like, no, he's not gonna be called fucking egg roll. God, he's gonna call it basically tangerine except shorter, so tango, because it sounds better. Mm. Yeah, and I think my boyfriend named his cat after Larry Davis. <laughs> Is it called Larry? <laughs> yeah, it's called Larry, yeah. <laughs> well, that was quite funny. I would want to name a cat after a politician, but one that's, like, liked. So, they, so basically, there'd be no politician available for that. Mm. So that's a shame. Alright. We successfully shot the shits, and my, I've been awake, and now, but now the coffee's kicked in. As you can tell. Also, hi. Good. I can't tell this this little fucker. Oh. We're just gonna He's continuously have tango checks. Essentially, that's probably something they do in the military is have tango checks <laughs> because tango is the the call sign for terrorist. <laughs> so because of T, T check. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So military. tea time, boys. Yeah. So. That's so wait, big if, you ever hear, if you ever hear a movie, a military movie, where they say tango in the room, that means there's a terrorist in the room, probably. A terrorism in the room? A terrorist. A terrorist. <laughs> a terrorist. <laughs> but a terrorism sounds funnier. <laughs> there's one whole terrorism. terrorism. I'd like to buy two terrorisms, please. <laughs> That'll be $29.95. That's fucking cheap as shit, dude. Dude, it's $29.95. Wait, wait, wait. NSA agent Philip, I swear to God, it's just a joke. I don't actually want to buy terrorism. That's oh for my... legal reasons. For legal should. reasons, I have to say that that was a joke. See, I was drinking there and I almost choked, so thank you. <laughs> You're Congratulations. <welcome. laughs> actually, that reminds me. I'll be right back. I want to get some water. I mean, we're going to start now. He's just, oh my God, such a distraction. Detracting Cl from the game experience. Classic Garth. Classic Garth, gosh. <laughs> gosh. It's like, it's, it's, um, customary to give Garf shit. Mm -hmm. He will inevitably give it back. Bird killer. He's good. Bird killer. <laughs> Alright, there's only one person with a bird. That's Fred. So Fred, you already know the line to, like, you already know, like, the bottom bar to not go under. So, expectations aren't high, but they're slightly elevated from before. Oh, it's not a bar now. I mean, I don't know. I, I personally I don't turn. want to get pet, but um... nah, I don't have any pets in real life. Well, I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying like um, no. in game. Oh, I got you. No. Hmm. I mean, I've got a pet mouse, but I don't really know if that counts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, that's right. As uh, Urshan, you have a. Yeah, I've got really right. attached to him actually. <laughs> How long have you had Did a you really? Oh, God damn it. Alright, so the owl in the party, probably, you guys should probably do something for that. Because naturally... Keep him a little bit distant. Owls eat mice. Oh, okay. Uh, hey, I just... Uh, I also have a th uh, as a thing in my games that animals are relatively intelligent to the point that they can understand humans. To a degree, or human people, humanoids, sentient mm -hmm. beings. Yeah. So your mouse will be able to like realize that he fucked up. Oh, okay. Versus so enjoy the bliss of ignorance as he <laughs> gets wrecked. I don't know. Wow, wow, gets your mouse. destroyed. Yeah. Oh, so I was gonna ask you then if I was able to train him, but if I can make him you do can train stuff. Him. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I mean, he's intelligent enough to get trained. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. He's intelligent enough to know what... Yeah, so if you guys ever get the ability to speak to animals, then animals might be, like, a bit... Actually a bit helpful to a degree. It's only to a degree. Keep in mind they're still animals, and they don't really they care about... They have 4 HP and could be eaten by a lake really fast. Eaten by a lake? Why would they be eaten by a lake, Garf? Huh. What a hmm. very specific way of putting it. Hmm. I wonder why. <laughs> Thinking emoji. <laughs> Edgar didn't have 4 HP. He had... Like, one. two? Maybe? No, he had, like, one. Oh, Jesus. 
Because I'm pretty sure he had like a, like a nine con or something like that. Oh, that might be right. <laughs> as as a, yeah, it was like a D four plus con, so it's minus one. Yeah, so, so it's yeah, like... essentially. So yeah, Raven's not particularly constitutious. That's not a fucking word. General it is beasts now. are not very constitutional. <laughs> <laughs> That's Fred's little hat trick. Demon, baby, be gone! I can't. Holy water and salt at you. <laughs> Wouldn't that burn yourself? No, I'm a fey eye though, so oh, I have an artificial. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm an AI and a fairy, so I have an artificial body that can handle it. Honestly. Behold your competition. <laughs> I'm holding my cat at the screen, looking at your cat. <laughs> Wait, Here's the thing, like I, like, I've, cool. I've had Tango since like they like, literally like two weeks. He's two weeks young, cool. so. Uh, I'll have plenty of chance to bond to him versus anyone else that gets a cat at like eight months or eight weeks or whatever, or two months, whatever. Yeah, just give him lots of tactile contact and you'll be fine. Yeah, he's been nibbling on my hands, don't worry. Well, that's why I'm Finn likes me. <laughs> I'm your papa. Yeah. For the first few weeks when we had this cat, um, it was my sister's cat. And she had to take off for like work and stuff, so she's like, "Could you sleep in the room with him so he has someone there?" It's like, "Sure." And I would wake up in the middle of the night to him just chewing on my chin, because <laughs> like I had chin hair, and he's like, "Oh, that looks like it's Stacy." <laughs> <laughs> How old was he? Uh, he? He was little baby. I don't remember exactly, but it was like only a few. Uh, weeks. Yeah, kittens have the need to like suckle on things, and if they don't have like a mother to be there to suckle on, they wear just why... chin hair. <laughs> Yeah, well, they grab on a random shit, like, Tango, yeah. like, bites at, like, like, each day it's a different finger, or thumb, or whatever. I don't know why. Interesting. Yeah. I have a tail. But he's ah! calmed down now. He, he doesn't do it as much. I think he's gotten used to being in this, uh, room. Hey. And plus, I gave him the fucking heating pad. Little shit. <laughs> so he lives he's in that right little now. box. He's uh, I bring him out, um, when I'm, like, showing on my desk, but the thing mm. is, like, I've been, like, busy, so... Not so much lately, but he's chilling. Headbutt. I got him that freaking heartbeat thing. The fucking Kali Moth. Wow, you went like over the top for this. <laughs> I love this cat more than any being in the world right now. <laughs> Including anyone in my blood related family. Checks out. Because <laughs> this cat is innocent. Which I can't say the same for any human being. So. He deserves. See him moving under the towel. He's relocating. Alright. How about we get started? Sure, I Yes, let's.